Please, please help me. Please, he shot here. Hear me out. He hear me out. Please, I'm, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. No, you're help not, me. baby. I'm gonna die. Calm down. Calm down. No, you're stop, not. stop. No, you're not. I can't move. It's okay. Calm down. Help me. Breathe. Help Don't me, please. Up. Breathe. Stop. Breathe. I can't Breathe. move. What's good, everybody? It's your boy. Oh, Shay Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Jump. You know, I want to talk about this whole protect the black women situation because, you know, comedian Ryan Davis talked about this in his response to Kevin Samuels' fans. You hear a lot of black women talk about it, how they're most abused and all of this. And I want to talk about this a young woman in Ohio who was sh shot by her baby father. And I know I've been releasing a lot of content on things like this happening on social media. But when the lady was shot, and I understand that that was a very gruesome situation, she decided to go to Instagram Live instead of dialing 911. Okay. This this is very interesting. I want to tread lightly on this because I've never been shot before. Um, you know, I don't know how you know how that feels and don't know how it feels. So, but I would I would gather that if I was shot, I probably would not go on IG live. And what you saw at the beginning of the video was her in pain, okay? All right? And the lady's name is Elizabeth Navarro, okay? Now, with COVID being what it is and a lot of people, you know, suffering, no jobs and all of this, you're seeing what we're seeing right now in the country. But I want to get back to the protect black woman peace again. Because it's vital that, that women understand that while we say that black men don't protect black women and, and this, that, and the other, the one thing that I think that women have more of control over, although it's not guaranteed, is looking out for signs of men that can be abusive. Right? I'm not saying that every man who's a professional guy isn't abusive because yes, that happened. But I think what happens a lot of times is that women overlook signs of abuse thinking that they can change it. All right? And in the black community, you see it all the time. You know, I've known many women, good looking, decent looking, not as good looking, whatever body size you want to say, have a lot of opportunities to get with guys who really mean them well. They're not attracted to those guys. They want to deal with those guys on a friendly basis. Um, if they can use that guy for some attention or text buddies or whatever. But the guy that they tend to be more attracted to and they want to have a, child, a child with is a man that typically doesn't have anything to offer. Okay? A man that is a heathen. He's, he's a piece of shit to the majority of society. And you will see this a lot women reproducing with these kinds of men okay then they will ignore certain things you know a man can be abusive to them whether emotionally or physically they will know that it's wrong but then they will go back to it talking about oh he loves me we can work it out you know at the same time you know having very little patience for a nice guy right i'm not saying it happens all the time but then when it gets to the case that the guy shoots you and tries to kill you you know, you're on Instagram Live instead of down on 911. Okay? Then all of a sudden it's okay, well the guy's a loser. Well that's that's evident. Yeah, the guy's definitely a loser. Okay? The guy is hideous. He should go to jail. You don't shoot people. But the one thing that I want to know is what what can happen? What mechanisms are in place that teach black women in the inner community? Are in, in the communities they come from. Hey, here are the kind of men that you should not take disrespect from, and here are the men that have the qualities you should be looking to date. 
I can tell you there's no such programs that exist. All right? So these women go out here and they pick many times the guys that are pseudo masculine, the guys who don't have anything for their future. They will they will give these guys babies without any kind of commitment. And then these women will find themselves abused. And that cycle will be repeated. And then once they repeat that cycle, and that cycle is repeated, and then when they're down in their luck, what are you going to hear? You're going to hear that these women are going to say black men don't protect them. It's exactly what you're going to hear. You're going to hear it time after time after time. You'll hear Megan the Stallion time after time. Black women are the least protected time after time. But, but how can black men come to the aid of a woman when it's too late? You know, once once the situations happen where, you know, you've gotten into a relationship with a guy that's a complete maniac and you didn't recognize the cues and you stayed in the relationship too long. What is it that the regular black man can do at that time to protect you? Because you can't blame him. And that's the thing I want to tell your sister. Listen to my program. Do not blame the men that are not in your community okay and i really mean this from the bottom of my heart if you're not dating a man and these other black men that have that don't know who you are don't blame them for not protecting you okay and i will tell black men the same thing don't blame black women who are not bothering you for your problems with black women you know there are black women who are minding their business they ain't bothering you ain't worried about you they're living their life same thing with black women do not blame black men for not protecting you because you got yourself involved with a maniac. If you got yourself involved with a maniac, then this guy happened to be crazy. Don't come out and say, you black men don't protect. Because the thing is, we can't protect you if you choose somebody that's the wrong person for you. Nobody can protect a bad decision in a man. Okay, a lot of things that we do protect ourselves and I'm not blaming her for what happened to her. But at the same time, if she's the kind of woman that's going to blame black men for what happened to her, I just can't, I just, I have a problem with that. And then let me say this and then go on IG live. I don't, I don't understand the clout of today, family. I just don't. Why don't you just call the 911? Why is it you're going to going on IG Live for what? Let me tell you, boo, those people don't care about you. They don't care if you live or if you die. People are in the comment section laughing. They think that it's funny. Some people think that it's funny. All right, they're not gonna do nothing to help you. They will watch you die right there on IG Live so they can talk about it. Like many people get shot on IG Live all the time. And the things are, is that if women want to be protected, then women have to educate women on what they should be looking for. Because I'm gonna tell you, man, black men just can't really do this with women anymore. We can't educate black women on what to look out for because it's gonna look at as hate speech. It'd be looked at as we're trying to tell y'all what to do. So if you really want to see sisters get it together, y'all have to be the ones, okay, to teach each other about what to look out for in men. If you don't teach your sisters or if the, or if the parents don't teach them, don't look for people who are not associated with them to protect them if the families haven't done it and if the communities that they come from haven't done it. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Drunk. I really appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe at the bell, you get the first comment at the top. And as you know, the, the four remains all-time high. All-time high, I'm out.